Let's let's do our fill in the blank, and then we'll do our predictions in the back half of this episode. Uh, fill in the blank. We're going to keep it in the O's. The Orioles announced that Grayson Rodriguez will start the season in the minor leagues after he gave up 14 runs, 11 earned, and 10 and two-thirds uh, in three spring training outings this, this spring here. Um, the best word to describe that situation is what? For me, it's fine. The situation is fine. I... I I told people this a lot of, of my own uh, opinion. I think when you look at who the Orioles brought in, and as far as they have a ton of arms in, in the rotation, right? Grace Rodriguez had an injury during the season last year. And before that injury, I thought he was going to get called up in the summer. Like he was on point. He was dominant. And I think that's where people are getting caught up right now is he was so dominant then. And you're like, of course, like he's – He's got all the stuff. Could he go pitch in the big leagues? Absolutely. But when he came back from that injury, he tried to press a little bit. And, of course, he wanted to be up there. His other friends and teammates are getting called up, and he wanted to make a difference on the team, which he will. But I, he w didn't pitch as well when he came back from the injury, and that was probably mostly the rust and pressing. And then you come into spring training where I know people are talking about manipulation, service time, and all those things. Could that play a factor? Sure. But in my mind, he was going to have to be flawless in spring training because if not, I don't see the harm in sending him to AAA. Let him, he's probably going to be ticked off and pissed off that he's on the team. Let him get acclimated for a little bit. And I wouldn't be surprised if he's up in Baltimore before May. And in that case, let some of your other veteran players that have been there and done that go up there and help get in the rhythm for the season. And then Grayson Rodriguez, because the other part is too, when Grayson comes up, you never want him to come back down, nor do I expect it. So let him get comfortable, and then everyone can relax. The, 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 the Grayson Rodriguez show is coming to Baltimore soon. Wow. That, there, there's so much that goes into this, like, and that was very well put on your part. My word to describe that whole situation is disappointing. It's disappointing because, like, yes, he didn't pitch well in those final three spring training outings, but in his first two, he was great. There was one run and four and two-thirds, like, Lights out. We're like, oh, this is the guy. And it's disappointing, too, because, like, you know, he's already proven what he could do at AAA. Like, there's nothing left for him to do down there. I think he would be better served trying to figure it out at the major league level. But the Orioles do kind of have this, this thing where they like doing the service time. They like in 2020, they didn't call up Mount Castle and, and uh, who is Mount Castle? Um, like, I think Keegan Aiken. Yeah. And, and Dean Kramer. They, they didn't call him up till after the cutoff. So they got an extra year. So it's like, there kind of feels a little bit of that, like a little saving money, a little, a little trying to keep him as long as they can for as cheap as they can. And I'm like, and this is a point that you've brought up too. And in, in some of your things where it's like, they do have a lot of other arms that, that are going right now, but I don't think any of them boast the stuff, the pure potential. Like when we talk about the Orioles starting pitching, it's always like they have some good veterans. They have some great young guys, but it's like, none of them have Grayson stuff. None of them are frontline starter stuff. And that's what Grayson is. So that's why I'm a little disappointed. Oh, I agree. I mean, Grayson, your your hope is that he becomes the ace. Like, that is your goal. And you look at that. If you're looking at stuff-wise, you're exactly right. When you're looking at it from the other guys, and if you look at the, the starting pitchers, I will say Kyle Bradish has some electric stuff if you've been around him. Kyle, and you had Dean Kramer. You already have Tyler Wells, Cole Irving. And, and uh, Kyle Gibson. Got, so all these guys have had experience so far. So in this case for me, and it really, I think, came back to the injury at the end or the injury last year in Grayson trying to come back. Because I don't think we're even having this discussion if that never happened. I think Grayson's in the big leagues and all this talk about manipulation and service time wouldn't be had. Now, now that that did happen and everything that you talked about, sure, could that go into the, into the decision? Now, yeah, obviously that has to probably – factor into some of the Orioles plans but I truly do believe if, if Grayson was so flawless coming out of it he would have forced his way onto the team but but make no mistake whether it's a couple starts a month you're gonna we're gonna see a lot of Grayson Rodriguez and for me I'd rather see him be coming in hot and and coming with even more of an edge so he comes up there and is which I believe he can be very dominant in in his rookie year I hope so I, I hope he doesn't harbor any kind of ill will or, or you know, feeling or like tough feelings about that because I feel like that's been a theme. Like, was it Chris Bryant? The Cubs completely screwed him over 
it back well that that one was the worst one because chris bryan absolutely dominated in in not only the year before and was healthy but then dominated spring training literally dominated i think he hit a bajillion home runs and was hitting like 350 i mean i'm probably not right on that but th- like it was one of those things it's like all right, he literally has done everything possible. He is the best option at third base. There was no like other option, and you didn't bring him. You know, so I, I get fans, and I know people are looking at the Yankees bringing up Anthony Volpe, I believe, their prospect. But you got to look at it. It's necessity as well. And right now, let's just face it, starting pitching at this moment isn't the necessity. And Grayson is the long-term future of this organization. Make sure he's good. And if he's pissed off, I know it's a business. And I would be, too, as a competitor. Hell, yeah, I'd be pissed. I want to be on the big league team. But knowing knowing and seeing Grayson, that's only going to motivate him to do to do greater things. I hope so, man. Yeah. No, that's – like I said, there's there's a lot that goes into this. Orioles fans, I'm sure, are, are firing up the, the Twitter sphere right now all about it. But, um, yeah, like I said, I just, I just want to see – we're not going to get 30-plus starts of Grayson this year, but as many Grayson starts as we can get, uh, I will be here for it.